Hey guys, Shimmer here, and today I'll be telling you all you need to know about the Imperial City Celebration event and how you can participate in this upcoming in-game event. As always, there will be time links in the About section below, so let's get to it. The Imperial City Celebration event will begin Thursday, September 5th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and runs until Monday, September 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. In order to access the Imperial City Zone, you will first need to be an ESO Plus member or own the DLC. Luckily for you, it will be available for free, that's right, free, for zero crowns to purchase in the crown store at the beginning of the event. This will give you access to the Imperial City Zone and the White Gold Tower and Imperial City Dungeons. During the event, the Imperial City Collector's Edition Bundle will be for sale for 3,000 crowns and will include the Mind Shriven Horse Mount, the Mind Shriven Skin, the Daydrap Pet, 5 Crown Experience Scrolls, in addition to the DLC Game Pack itself. To enter the dungeon, open your Alliance War menu by pressing L on the PC or by clicking the tower icon in the top of the screen. Select Imperial City Category and choose either a Champion Point or Non-Champion Point server and click Enter Campaign. Keep in mind the Imperial City is a PvP zone, and you can and most likely will be attacked by enemy players. While roaming around, you will be earning a currency called Telvar Stones, which you can spend at a vendor back at your Alliance's camp. You will earn Telvar for each enemy that you kill, and the more you carry, the more you earn, as this multiplier down here at the bottom will increase, meaning you can carry more at different thresholds. This is risky, though, and as any death you suffer will make you lose this currency as well. This means enemy players, if they kill you, can take your Telvar. Now let's talk about the rewards of the celebration event. As you explore, quest, and battle throughout the Imperial City, you will earn bonus rewards for many of the DLC's activities, including double the amount of Telvar stones dropped from all monsters, double the amount of key fragments, double the amount of materials dropped from trove scamps, double the Telvar stones from sacks obtained from cunning scamps, Double the amount of drops from bosses, including within the Imperial City itself and its dungeons, and double the chance of picking up either the Stonefire Scamp pet or Soul Shriven Skin. Now the pet and the skin are both obtained from the Simulacrum of Molag Ball event that happens in the center of the Imperial City sewers. This is a very majorly contested area when this event is going on. All three alliances... Uh, sometimes fight over the event, so um, be prepared if your group is going to go after this event. During the Imperial City Celebration event, you can earn new event tickets by completing the following activities. Defeating the final boss in either the Imperial City Prison Dungeon or the White Gold Tower Dungeon, or by slaying a patrolling monster in the Imperial City streets or a mini-boss within the Imperial City sewers. When completing one of these activities, you will earn two event tickets maximum per day per account. I do mean per account, and what I mean by this, as it caused some confusion in my last video, is if that you have more than one character on the account that you log into, you can only earn two event tickets on only one character per day. So you can't log into another character and earn two more event tickets. It doesn't work like that. You can only earn a maximum of two per day per account. The Imperial City Celebration event is your first opportunity to acquire the Onyx Berries of Growth for 10 event tickets from the Impresario vendor. The Impresario is a vendor that is only available during in-game events and will appear at the beginning of the Imperial City Celebration event and disappear at the end of the event. She is located in the event tents located outside of the cities of Daggerfall, Davin's Watch, and Volkogard depending on your alliance. She will have the feathers needed to create the base nascent Indric mount and the berries needed to evolve the nascent Indric mount into the third quarter Indric, the Onyx Indric. Note that the berries for the Onyx Indric will only be available during the third quarter events. This event is the third event, so there's only one more event for you to earn enough event tickets to purchase the needed Onyx berries to evolve it. So if this evolution or this look is important to you, prioritize getting the berries over the feathers first. The berries for the Onyx evolution will no longer be available after, the, after this quarter is over. Do not buy more than one of each type of berry. <laughs> this will do nothing for you. You only need one of each unique berry to evolve your nascent Endric. The, the last berry to purchase will unlock with the last event that has yet to be announced. 
I have completed a guide on the Endrick mount and how to evolve it, and it can be viewed by clicking here. She will also sell some Imperial themed furniture, uh, the Scamp Pet, but I would not purchase a Scamp Pet from her as the event from it with event tickets because you can get it for pretty cheap on the on the guild stores. Or you can earn it by participating in the Simulacrum of Moloch Ball event in the center of the Imperial City sewers. And that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and sub if you enjoyed or if it helped you out any, and click that bell icon to be notified when I have new videos go live. I apologize about the, um, the mic quality in this one. I'm actually uh, on bed rest right now um, during the last couple weeks of my pregnancy, and it's the uh, my mic is not out here, so I'm using my headset mic, so it's a little terrible. <laughs> so I apologize about that. Um, but y'all have a great day, and I will see you in Tamriel.